This is the Ethereum Wars Player Terminal. Give it a try. Uh, it seems kind of complicated. Have you got the hang of it yet? Uh, back to copying me, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't worry yourselves too much. Remember, practice makes perfect. I imagine you'll grasp the core concept in no time. To participate in the tournament championship, make your way to the various victory zones and increase your victory rating. Complete the trials in each victory zone to earn all of the mastery marks. Please excuse me if you may. I have a few other facilities to inspect to ensure the festival runs smoothly. If you have any problems, the staff at the service hall will be more than happy to assist you. I wish you all a memorable festival. Farewell for now, dear friends. Okay, looks like we've learned all the essentials. Let the fun begin! Let's head towards the first victory zone! Corridor of Fading Echoes! Ah, oh, this is it! The entrance to the Corridor of Fading Echoes victory zone! I just looked up some tips on the Interastral Network. These victory zones are leased by the IPC and the Gaming Association from various planets. The IPC's reach is impressive. Ready to head out? I <laughs> can't wait to find out what's inside these victory zones! Hey look! It's Mr. Giovanni! Mr. Giovanni, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> <laughs> you two move fast. Welcome to the Corridor of Fading Echoes Victory Zone. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually somewhat of a seasoned Ethereum Wars player myself. Am I correct in saying that this is your first time entering a victory zone? In case you <laughs> want to hear the rules again, players can enhance their victory rating by engaging in various activities within the victory zone, such as collecting roaming data and participating in sparring matches with other players. Collecting roaming data is a vital aspect because it's the only way for players to encounter new ether spirits, aside from purchasing or trading them. Since you're both here, let me give you a lesson on gathering roaming data. Oh, really? We know you're pretty busy. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. Assisting new players in swiftly understanding the gameplay is just another part of the festival. I will give you this ether data, Blaze Out of Space. With this, collecting roaming data should be much easier for the both of you. There happens to be a good number of roaming data targets in the vicinity. How about using them as practice?
I see you're both living up to your renowned trailblazer reputations. It would seem you two have a natural talent for gaming. <laughs> That's us, all right. <laughs> Yikes, sweet talk alert. But it's true. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. Let me see what next. Ah, oh, that's it. Now I remember. I prepared a few ether expansion chips for you both. <laughs> you can use your ether coin to read the data on these chips. They allow your ether spirits to equip various abilities. Why not give them a go right now? Everyone's here! You and Little March, too. What lucky charm lured these two great heroes our way? Serval, Pela! Has it really been that long? It's great to see you, too! Behold! Two championship contenders! It would seem the stage is set for some intense competition! Huh? S Sir Val's the championship contender for this victory zone? <laughs> I guess it's time we got our act together. <laughs> Long time no see! Good to see you, outsider. S Sir Val? Uh, pale... Uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> intelligence officer? Huh. So is this game already popular in Bellabog? Yeah, but I guess no one in Bellabog had much of a clue about video games before the IPC showed up. I gotta say, Ethereum Wars is really fun. I've been grinding for several days straight. Barely even had time to eat. I wish you'd put the same effort into other things. So, Miss Serval, Miss Pela, how are you feeling? Have you gotten accustomed to the title of Championship Contender yet? Totally used to it. Pela and I have already struck fear into the hearts of more than a few newbies. Should we really be bragging about something like this? <laughs> it's good that you've gotten used to it. Entrusting the victory zone to the two of you was the right decision. Since you're all here, how about we let Miss Serval and Miss Pela, our championship contenders, explain the rules to everyone? No problem. The rules are actually quite simple. To start with, I've made some minor tweaks to the snowshine lamps, making it possible for heat to be transferred between them. Just pop a thermic core into a lamp, and all the nearby lamps will light up simultaneously. Cool, right? The puzzle for you to solve is to use the limited number of thermic cores at your disposal to illuminate all of the designated snowshine lamps scattered around the victory zone. 
Experience is always the best teacher. So go ahead and try for yourselves with these two lamps. Ball's modifications to the lamps allow you to illuminate lamps that are out of your reach. You'll find several lamps like this around the Victory Zone. Once you've illuminated all of them, seek out me and Sir Ball. We'll be ready to throw down the gauntlet. But don't think we'll just hand over the mastery mark without a fight. You'd better make sure you're ready before you even think about challenging us. Hmm. After seeing this special modification, I can't help but wonder, do all Victory Zones have a similar kind of setup? Of course! After all, it's just another part of the tournament. Each Victory Zone has its own unique puzzles. But don't worry yourselves too much. The most important thing is that you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the adrenaline rushing through my veins. That mastery mark is mine. B brace yourself, Serval. I'm about to rock your world. Ah, uh, yikes! Everyone's so fired up! Uh, quick! Let's say something! Yeah! Grand champs in the house! Uh, I hope we haven't just jinxed ourselves. The enthusiasm is cute, but don't think just because you're still figuring out the game that Pela and I will take it easy on you. There are three thermic cores. You'll need them to solve the puzzles in the victory zone. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> now that's exactly the festive atmosphere I'm looking for. <laughs> Investing in this event was most certainly the right decision. Please excuse me. I must inspect the next victory zone. Best of luck to you both. Thank you, Mr. Giovanni. Let's get moving. Time to show Pela and Serval what we're made of. Trailblazers! I didn't expect you two to be the first ones to show up. Oh, not bad. Uh, with me here, it was a walk in the park. <laughs> well, well, someone's feeling pretty confident. Well then, it's time you felt the power of mechanical fever. Pela, let's show them what we're made of. The essence of turn-based games lies in the numbers. So you better get ready to witness the precision of my calculations. <laughs> Things are heating up!
was intense. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. How did you manage that? I guess you just got lucky this time. Here, take it. The Corridor of Fading Echoes Mastery Mark. You've earned it. I have something else for you also. An Ether Expansion Chip. Integrating its data into an Aether Spirit will grant them new, innate abilities. <laughs> Look how happy they are! It's clear they trust you a lot. A Warp Trotter? That's a pretty rare Aether Spirit. But they were acting kind of strange in the battle. Is there something wrong with them? <laughs> uh, to be honest, we don't actually know. But it seemed like some IPC troublemakers were out to get them. That's why they're tagging along with us. We're looking after them. Sir Ball, you seem to know more about Aether Spirits than us. Can you tell us what's up with this little guy? Sorry, I'm not quite sure either. IPC tech is pretty complex. There are some principles I'm still trying to wrap my head around. I see. Perhaps if we were able to find Miss Topaz, She'd be able to give us some clues. <laughs> they're just too precious. And they're counting on you for protection. Take them with you and snatch the championship. <laughs> Thanks, Pela. We'll do our best. Uh, speaking of champions, have you heard the story of the mysterious elite player? Yeah. Who's that? Are they some sort of gaming prodigy? <clears throat> well, this player isn't a stranger. We know them too, but Mr. Giovanni has asked us not to divulge too much information. Giovanni? I wonder what he's up to. We're not entirely sure. He said something about adding an element of mystery to the story. Okay, that's weird. In any case, if your goal is to also become the champions, then it's likely you'll run into them sooner or later. Remember, train hard and relish every moment. The title awaits you. <laughs> oh, now that battle was really intense. Those puzzles were such a blast too. I think I'm hooked. Great minds really do think alike. Hmm, let me see. Our next stop should be the Cloudford Victory Zone. But it's already getting late. How about we head back to the Goethe Hotel for a bit, and then set out on the Express tomorrow? I mean, it's not often we get the chance to stay there. And I really miss their pillows. Oh, great! Fluffy pillows, here we come! <laughs> it's still early. Where to now? Ah, Goethe Hotel. Home sweet home. <laughs> Hey, what is it? <laughs> hey, it's those two twerps again! It's the two who ruined our plans! Hand over the trotter, now! Ugh, you two again? 
We're minding our own business. You're the ones going around stealing people's ether spirits. Uh, they're like family now. Why would we just hand them over to someone like you? Uh, yeah! If you think you've got what it takes, then bring it on! You rat! Dare underestimate us! Oh, you won't get away with it twice! I'll teach you two twerps a lesson you'll never forget! Another failure! The shame! The shame! Let's just get some rest and forget about them. <laughs> <laughs> 